What's up, people? It's Thirsty Thursdays. Thirsty, right? Hungry. So I want everybody to think about all the people in your life that you had an opportunity with or you could have had a potential opportunity with and for some reason it didn't happen. They shot you down. They rejected you. Make a list because I know you have it in your brain. It's stained. Who said no to you? But obviously think of the biggest no's first, right? The ones with the biggest opportunities that said no, even if you have to go back years. All right, make that list, okay? And then I want you to call or email or reach out to each and every one of them, all right? Make a list of five, all right? You gotta have at least five big no's in your life, right? When it comes to business or maybe relationship. Oh, watch out now, all right? And then I want you to call them, all right? And I'm calling it Thirsty Thursdays because I want them to know that you're still hungry, all right? That you're still thirsty. Now, everyone's always afraid. I don't want them to think I'm desperate. I don't want them to think I need them. But you know what? You do need them, right? Because you reached out to them to begin with because you needed them to make this opportunity happen, all right? And you were at the wrong place, maybe the wrong time, maybe the right place, wrong time. You don't know. But timing is everything, okay? So maybe something that they said no to two, three years ago might be an immediate yes right now, all right? So timing is so crucial in business. It, it's just unbelievable. It's like magic, right? Uh, something you asked for three, four, five years ago, they may give you a quick no. They might give you a quick yes today just because everything lines up better, all right, for that opportunity for the other, other person. Remember, when you reached out to them, it's because you saw the opportunity, not because they did, right? So it may take people time to see that opportunity has potential. Maybe they've seen it already happen with other people and then they remember, oh man, I should have did that opportunity with so-and-so. They asked me, but I said no. So keep that in mind too. There's a lot of opportunities that other people let slip through their hands and it always kind of puts a stain in their brain. So if you reconnect, I bet you out of those five people you call back, out of those 10, you're gonna get one that at least contemplates it again, all right? That gives it a real thorough, diligence thought about it, okay? You'd be very surprised, all right, that you got some old connections in your dusty little Rolodex or in your old phone that you shut off. Um, you'd be very surprised that you have it right there, sitting there. It's in your own reach, right? Um, so go through that old contact list of people that said no to something that you know you could still make happen, all right? Sometimes it's never too late for certain things if it's not a dated opportunity, if it's not an urgent opportunity. But even if you don't have anything really on the table to speak to them about, maybe they have something and maybe they appreciate that you came to them with an opportunity a year ago, a month ago, five years ago, all right? People don't necessarily forget, but out of face, is out of mind. So put your fat face, boom, right in their face again and let them know that you exist and you're still hungry and you're still thirsty, all right? Thirsty Thursdays. Quench that. Mm.